Hi, you have seen how you can easily add text and image to your WordPress blog article. In this tutorial, I will cover the adding of video and audio. You will remember there are four small icons in the Add New Post page that allow you to add image, audio and video. In practice, the final post just gives a link to the audio file like this. When you click the link, a different page opens that plays the audio. You may not perhaps want this and you may rather prefer an embedded video or audio like the ones I have in my twowebvideo.com website. To do this you will need to install plugins that are free but made specially for WordPress. Let's try out a couple of these. Let me first show a plugin for video. There are literally many such plugins available, but an easy one is available at embed.ly. Installing the plugin is like a breeze. In the Install Plugins page, I type in the plugin name in the search box and then press Enter. In the results that show up, Embedly is at the top. Let me click the Install Now link. Embedly gets installed in my blog and now it will have to be activated. Clicking the activate link activates the plugin and this also appears below on the left panel. Let me click the Embedly link on the left panel here to come to this page. These are websites that are recognized by Embedly and so what happens is when a media URL like that of a video for example, is directly mentioned in a blog post, it is automatically converted to the video concerned. Very easy indeed. Let's see an example. Embedly allows YouTube. Let me copy the URL of this video of mine and put it directly in my blog post. Here are some texts as well. Let me click preview to find out how it has come. As you can see, the YouTube video appears nicely in my post. Ok, let's now install another plugin for embedding audio. In the same way, we installed Embedly. This audio plugin is called Blueberry PowerPress. Let me activate it. Now going to the bottom of the left panel, I click the Blueberry PowerPress link. There are many options available to configure PowerPress. Let us do some redesigning of the audio player. The color, width, height, color of the buttons and so on. Finally, let me save my changes. Coming to the blog post page, I need the audio URL to embed it as in case of video. So first, I click the add audio icon to open the overlay pop-up. Next, I browse and select the mp3 audio file to be uploaded. Once the uploading is over, I will get the URL of the mp3 file. This is what I want actually to embed it for PowerPress. This is now stored in the upload folder of my blog. To embed the audio file, the step is to mention this piece of code in my blog post. Notice I have the just uploaded mp3 file mentioned as the URL. Clicking the preview button takes me to how the actual post looks like. The audio player has come well. Remember, 
Blueberry plugin also allows embedding video from sites like YouTube. Try doing that in your blog and see how your posts look like. This tutorial series ends here. I hope you have gained helpful inputs to start and design your own blog come website and you are also able to easily add various types of contents to your site. Thanks for watching.